Welcome back guys to another City Skylines 2 video. This one is about the road tools, but it is the developer insight. So we are going to meet and review this video about the actual City Skylines 2 developers and how what their thought process is with the road tools design. So first and foremost, just like any other review, I will not have sound because I do not want a copyright claim. So let's get started. So first and foremost, this is Yuri. He is the game designer. And as you can see here, we, we're going through the road tools that was just released. So during this review or this insight video on the City Skylines YouTube channel, basically what they're going through is their thought process and creating City Skylines 2 road tools and trying to create the most user-friendly road tools option for new and old players and right now they're just going through all the different options such as the roundabout changing out signs upgrading roads and stuff like that so let's just dig deep i'm gonna fast forward this so you don't have to see yuri the whole time but any of the highlights i will be going over so let's get going so here is Aurora, another game designer, and what she's doing is that she's playing City Skylines 2 in real time where they're showing that we can create an automatic intersection instead of clicking it little by little. And this is very, very helpful for any new player. Instead of going click by click by click by creating a grid, this way you can just drag a road over it completely and it just, it's again, they're going for being user friendly. So that's really fantastic. Now this next part kind of reminds me of the network multi-tool. It is the parallel roads. So as you can see on Aurora screen that she has multiple par parallel roads that will be coming out of that highway. Now what's really cool is Aurora said is if you have a one-way road, City Skylines 2 automatically knows to put the one-way road going forward and then the other way, well, in this situation, one going left and one going right in opposite directions. So now here is Igor. He is a City Skylines 2 map designer and he is really all about the road layouts. I do want to just fast forward him because he is on, he is quite a decent amount of camera time, but I want to get back to the highlights of what was shown. So next, what they get into is snapping. And what you can see on the screen is automatic road snapping and that we have a geometry snap to zoning, 90 degree angles, snap to building, snap to, wow, we have a lot of different options. I feel like we need to go back real quick and just see that. All right, let me hit that pause button and get rid of that bottom bar. Okay, we have a bunch of different options. So this is really cool. So snapping wise, Tons of different options. You can see here, the elevation tool is there. You, we have the curved road tool. We have a lot more different options. Um, I believe the, the one here could be a roundabout one, but anyways, we have a ton of different road options. Wow, that is actually absolutely fantastic for City Skylines 2. I'm very, very, very excited about that. So now as the video goes on, you are seeing more gameplay. Now this is the highway on and off ramp in this, city skyline situation they they are showing you the on and off ramp and then you can show that you're able to raise roads which is a fantastic way you can also stack them i'm gonna hit the pause button right there oh right there because it, it goes way too fast you could stack roads now in city skyline so i think this is amazing news for anybody building a highway in the new city skylines too Definitely, oop, I'm just trying to get as close as possible, but again, you, you get the picture because it's moving, the camera's moving really fast and you're just getting a quick glimpse. But anyways, oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I think that last glimpse was definitely the best. There you go. I'm gonna pause it right there at 309. Wow, one, two, three, four roads. So that's really cool you're able to do that. Um, It is a little interesting, like just the basic look of it, but overall, very, very cool. So next, this is the Conflict Nerd Grid, and it's a really cool and simple option. I really am glad that they added this. Oh, and this is the first, okay. I When I originally saw this video, I just wanted to, I know we're talking about roads here, but look at the residential buildings, or residential, wow. Look at the houses. Look at the detailing in each of these houses. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you can see that they already have trees. You can see play sets, pools. So they have way more detail in each of these 
just each of the houses that are rendering in City Skylines 2. Absolutely beautiful. I think I see the Finnish flag. Am I going crazy? I think that is. But anyways, absolutely beautiful housing, by the way. So now what, what they've gone through was instead of upgrading buildings, you are... It's what's called you're, re you're replacing them. So it's called the replacement tool instead of upgrading buildings. So let's watch a replay of what what was just going on. So we're going back here. Sorry, I'm going back and forth, but see, you can see. So it's basically the same thing as the upgrade tool, except you're what's called replacing it. Now, it's really amazing is that you can have tram tracks in the middle of a road. So you can actually edit the roads. See, like, let me pause it right here so you can see. These are normal tram tracks right here. Normal tram tracks, and you're able to edit them into the road. Like, that is amazing. Watch there. Boom, boom, boom. See, you can edit them into... Wow, That I think that is absolutely amazing. Like, especially with that bridge right in front of there. Like, oh, that... Instead of just having a bridge for trams to go across, we can actually use the normal road for it. Wow, absolutely amazing. Wow, I'm really, really, really happy with that. So now there's other options. Oh, 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 stop, 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 stop. We have pedestrian roads in City Skylines 2 confirmed. Right here. Literally right here is a pedestrian road. There are no bollards, but instead of, you know, obviously cars on this road, you can see it's people and it's much wider than a normal path. So we have pedestrian paths in City Skylines 2. I'm very excited about that. Holy cow. That is really cool. I'm very, very excited about that. Then they finally they got into interchanges. So I we all know that Yumble is the king of all intersections. And this, you know what? These are a lot of pre-made intersections and they look pretty good. Let me just go back through that real quick. So let's see how many different options we have. Again, this is a review, so I'm not like trying to break it down into a science, but let's just see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven generic interchanges that come with city skylines and that's not even from the steam workshop so that's really cool you can tell that well from the video quick vi i should say from the quick video you can tell that they they are a lot better quality than previous city skylines one like i'm gonna pause it there like you can just see the quality of the intersection is really really well done i mean we all had that three-way intersection in city skylines one that would have traffic and just be awful and this is definitely a little bit different and it looks a little bit nicer so guys that was the end of the road tools insight so far oh no wait no that's a lie never mind we're getting into parking lots holy cow i just oh my gosh i did not i thought this is the end of it i thought that, that was gonna be the end but parking lots are definitely a major major key holy cow you have for the electronic um you have an electric charging station here. Holy cow, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, that's in the middle. So parking lots, they definitely wanted to bring, what they were mentioning in this Insight video was they needed to have a place to park for people downtown because it's not really realistic for people just to park on the roads. So parking lots, major, major, major feature. Again, I would like to thank City Skylines for doing this video and just giving us some insight of how they're able to do that. Now, as we keep going, you're going to see that we have four different roundabout options. Right now, they do look a little clunky. If you do, I'm, I'm, I know I'm nitpicking this, but they look a little clunky. If you look on the inside, they do have, they just, they don't look perfect yet. But I'm hoping as the game gets better, like, you know, the game gets launched or before the game that it's slightly improved. But again, they look great. Just not perfect. That's all I guess I'm saying. I guess and that's just me nitpicking. And there's all four of the roundabouts that you can add in City Skylines. So what's really big that they went into today for during this Insight video is that roads, the actually the road department, yep, the, the basic road depot. There we go. Road maintenance. Wow. I Good job. Good job. Road maintenance vehicles actually do something to your road. So basically this vehicle will make sure your roads are good and that traffic will maintain its speed and whatnot and no traffic jams or car accidents. So that's the importance. If you have a bad road, the higher likely chance of them actually hitting and getting into a car accident. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, now here we're going through some of our upgrades 
roadwise, which is really, really cool. So you're gonna see here that we can change different stop street lights, stop signs, no turns and stuff like that. Like, I think that's absolutely amazing that this is part of the base game. And the next part here that they went over was the sound barrier. So this way, if you have a highway that's downtown, you know, you could have a sound barrier where, you know, residential buildings don't hear it. And by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out there right now. I, I don't, we obviously don't know what this city looks like. But holy cow, look at how many people are walking on the sidewalk to the right and over the pedestrian bridge. So maybe there's going to be more, you know, like Sims walking around your city versus City Skylines 1. So, so far, so good. And then you can see a highway on, well, that's a highway off ramp. Then you see, this is our first look of a tram POV, which I don't think anything, I think the trams relatively look the same. I mean, that's just me and this angle. So overall, um, you know, obviously you guys can change some of the road improvement wise. You can change some of the signs. You can change some of the turning lanes. And basically that is the end of, yeah, you can't, yeah, just like Sports Monkey, he can't end a video. So guys, thank you guys for watching. This was just my basic review of the City Skylines um, in developer insight. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.